Hey there, Paper Geeks and Glitter Nerds. It's Senna the Crazy Geek Crafter. I'm here with a um, challenge. One of my viewers asked me in the comments on the last Missy video, Missy's video, um, if I could actually use the sidekick to, to cut out the Missy's. So um, this is me challenging myself to make a card only using uh, the sidekick and not my bigger machine. Now, I, I am pretty sure and I'll be confirmed in that in a moment that the entire body will not fit for the sidekick. However, the newest release uh, in the newest release, you have a different torso type um, because you get loose hands and shoulders um, for you, Missy. So I think maybe that one can fit for, but I won't promise it. I'm just testing out with the old body form whether it can fit through and I don't have any of the guys so I can't tell you if they will fit through but I can tell you that I can only cut a bit down to the shoulders here. The head will go fine and I did manage to uh, to get a torso looking shape for the bottom of my uh, card here. It didn't cut much as you see here it's just the neck of course the ears and the head was no worry about those but this is all they cut but when you put the uh, the shape back on and then you press the cardstock onto the die, you can make an intention and then you can cut it. Of course, it was still narrower than the torso is. Uh, so it's a bit misshaped, but depending on how you use it on your card, I think you can get away with it. So I would say it's a, if you really want to, you can use a sidekick with the missies exclusively. But I would prefer uh, to have the bigger one on standby because a lot of the hair will not fit in my uh, sidekick. I figured that one out pretty fast. Um, the front hairs for the Betty Missy uh, will fit, but I don't think any of the hairs from Tasha will fit at all. Uh, maybe the tiny one uh, inside the bigger one. Oh, it's hard to explain um, and mm, the smaller buns for Carol will fit and also I think a front hair will fit but otherwise you're a bit hairless um, in choices when you only use the sidekick but this was a fun project nevertheless I accidentally created myself uh, so that was a kind of fun thing um, since mostly I have very long hair and you see it sometimes in the shots uh, a tiny bit of it um, but I have very long hair and if I wear it in a ponytail it will look like that what it's going to look like when I'm done you can cut the entire arm if you want uh, you just have to move it along on the plate um, I didn't need the entire arm so I just cut it off where the paper ended I'm going to use my Shinhan alcohol markers to color in all the body parts. Um, I'm still working on that technique to get it to look nice, but this is better than the last Missy I did. The, the back and forth motion is definitely not the way to go. Uh, I will in the future try to perfect the method, but the, the swirly motion seems to be better for uh, coloring Missy's. And remember to use the right paper, because uh, if the paper isn't alcohol marker friendly, you won't get a good result. Uh, I tried that one too. So I'm picking out a few colors. I'm going to make a pale face. Accidentally, it kind of looks like me, like I said. And some brown hair because brown is easy. And well, most people in my country are brown haired, pale faces. I'm going to use my little piece of acetate here to hold the face in place while I stamp uh, some eyes and a nose. I'm just going to do those in black because the uh, cow face does have closed eyes so I don't have to fiddle around with uh, making black pupils and uh, coloring around the eyes the way I have to do when they're open. So that makes life a bit easier. I'm going to wait uh, with stamping the mouth. The mouth is also from the Carol stamp um, but I'm just going to leave it in my Misty so I uh, can find it because it's kind of tiny and then stamp it on when I've colored with the alcohol markers because that part I will color in with some distress ink and that will not do well with alcohol. So I make a darker 
around and of course I colored the cheeks in first because I found out if I colored the cheeks after it looks really weird because there's so much of that uh, blending solution or whatever you called it uh, in the rosy colors that it just pushes the brown away and it looks really weird so I put down the purple uh, the pink first and then I put the skin tone on top. Now I'm <laughs> referencing my own hand so that I can make it uh, colored in the right way where the shadows are supposed to be in the hand when you hold it up well with the palm up. This also means I don't have to cut any nails that's a bonus. And the streakiness is all right for hair Actually, it's perfect for hair, so remember to be very streaky with the hair. I only do two colors uh, for the skin and for the uh, hair. I don't feel like I need three colors. Um, I'm not that great a colorist, so I just I work with the minimum to get a uh, decent result, in my opinion. And don't worry, I will remember to uh, color in her ears. <laughs> They're a bit pale at the moment, but I will remember. I have written down the colors, so I can always go back and find the right markers to color them in. So, well, if you're forgetful like me, that might be a positive thing for you. I do it for the videos, but you might want to do it just, you know, if you forget something. I picked saltwater taffy. I wanted to try it out. Um, and it actually, it's a very nice lip color. It's pink, but it's still not too much. And I think it takes on a tiny bit of the color from uh, from the underlying uh, face. So I think that one worked out perfectly for, for lips. I'm so happy. And the ears, like I promised, I was going to color those. Now I can pack up my coloring and my uh, stamp platform, trying to find some space on my desk for the next step of the journey. First of all, we need a card base, and I got some new papers I want to try out for the birthday theme. Um, they're very classical Danish, with the uh, Danish flag on them, since, like I've said before, and probably keep on saying, because you never know who's watching, it's a Danish thing. We use the flag for birthdays, celebrations in general. Uh, it's not, uh, not so much a national pride thing, it's more just that that's how we celebrate. My Missy does need a shirt, she, or she could be naked, but let's not. Let's give her some clothes. I just, I had a stack of uh, papers on my desk for a random project I made. And I figured something plain would be nice when it's going to be a busy background. So now I just have to figure out uh, how her top is going to look. And I decide to just freehand it. It was easier than having to uh, get the dye I actually wanted, which is at the very top of uh, the uh, Betty sheet. So I just hand it, uh, hand cut it, and I glue the shirt on, and then I'm going to cut it to the shape of the body after that. But first, I'm going to get glue all over my table because something happened to the tip of my glue, and I really don't know what it was. I really have no clue. It's like someone bit on it all the way around. So I had to cut off that piece and widen the hole underneath. Uh, but first clean up my workstation because I had glue all over. Yay! That's what happens when you craft, I guess. And I can't get the needle through this piece that's been... I don't know what happened to it. So now it's shorter, but it still works. Yay, moving forward. I was afraid I was going to have to get another bottle and uh, that would really have prolonged the project. Because I can't remember where I put the spare tiny bottles I have. For a bit of detail on her shirt, because it is a bit plain, I'm to, going to uh, cut out a string, this one, and add it to the shirt 
and bend it around the shoulders. I don't need much, so this tiny piece is fine. I try to keep putting things back where I took them because I have a tendency to uh, have a lot of things on my desk and things easily get lost. So I try to put everything back as soon as I'm done with it, otherwise I may lose it. I think I'm not alone in this, but uh, just in case I'm saying it out loud so you know that it's okay to be messy. And I forgot the ears, so I just unfolded my paper so I could see them. And remember, I had to also put on my ears. And here's the paper I was talking about with the flags. Now, it had a bit of a printing issue in one end. I have to cut off uh, like a millimeter where there was a hole in the print. I think maybe the papers would just cut slightly off. But I'm going to cut up the panel I need out of this paper. It's uh, one centimeter short on each side, or half a centimeter short on each side compared to the card base, so I'll have half a centimeter all the way around as a border. And I also like the back of this paper. There's something about that bold black stripe I really like. But it wasn't for this card. Maybe another one. I need a new knife for my trimmer, obviously. It's tearing the paper something awful. It took quite a while to clean it up. Uh, I normally can use just the nail file, but here I even had to pull in the scissors. I am just checking my composition before I glue down the panel. And then it's about assembling my Missy. And I'm going to play a bit with foam tape. And like with the black ink I used before, uh, I haven't listed it at the top of the page because it's what I call an essential or a uh, standard tool. It's something I always have and use constantly, so I really don't want to bother you with uh, writing it every time I use it. Foam tape is also one of these uh, basic tools. I have a video on it. I can link it for you. Um, so it's just things that I use often and really feel that if you're going to do this craft, you'll probably have this in your stash or something similar. Um, and a black ink and foam tape is definitely two of those. I'm doing uh, mostly double layers of foam on my things. Um, in this case, the arm is going to be even further out than the face. So I'm doing four layers here and then uh, only two on the face and on the uh, ponytail. The back of the ponytail is going to be glued behind the head, but the front will be popped up. I cut pieces, tiny pieces, for the fingers, so they don't get damaged when they are pulled out the card. When it comes to attaching the ears, I actually often wish that they were attached already. I don't know why they're loose, but never mind. Um, they were a bit of a pain to get equal uh, on each side of the face. The hair did help, and then I have to put some foam in between, uh, in behind, to make sure they don't come off at any point.
we're getting closer to the end now. I need a sentiment on my card. I think that is appropriate. Since it is a birthday card, I'm going with the um, heartfelt congratulations. That's at least how I would translate it. Translation is an art as much as it is a science. Um, there are a lot of ways to translate, but that's how I would say the thing I picked. Now, this is also the point where I noticed that this person I've created actually looks like me. So I decided to give her some jewelry in my preferred color, silver. So I like big earrings and bracelets. So I was very happy with uh, having these from uh, Tasha and uh, Carol. I am also going to put foam on the uh, earrings just to make sure they don't uh, fall off and they stay level with the head. Last time I did a Missy, I did a speech bubble by hand. I won't be doing it this time. I just picked an oval, uh, a stitched oval here from MFT. It's the only oval die I have, so that's what it is. I traced around the outside and then I'm going to stamp on it before I cut it. Um, so here it is. And I'm going to stamp it with the distress ink I used for the lips as well. I found that it fit very well with the uh, red flags in the background without being too matchy matchy. So that's another salt water taffy. And then I'm going to remove the pencil line from my die away when I'm trying to clean up my desk. Go find the die and then I'm going to cut it out. <laughs> and away it went. Oops. Have you ever done that? Flung your things across the room because you're cleaning. <laughs> it's annoying. But since I uh, draw, drew it in and everything, uh, it fits perfectly. There's a bit, maybe too much space at the top, but with a sentiment like this, that'll always happen. Some more foam tape. And the card is done. So to answer the question, you can make a Missy with the sidekick, but I would prefer to have my big shot for it. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll be back next week for another one. Until then, I hope you'll be having a good day, evening or night.